then we have the eyes, right? Um, if you're susceptible to getting cataracts, vitamin D can help slow down that process. Vitamin D deficiencies are associated with macular degeneration, glaucoma, and especially dry eyes. The most common thyroid condition is Hashimoto's. Like 90% of all hypothyroid type conditions is, is autoimmune, it's Hashimoto's. And like I said before, vitamin D is the best natural remedy for any autoimmune problem at all because it drops inflammation. And if you didn't have inflammation, when you had any type of autoimmune disease, your complications, the side effects would be very minimal. Graves disease, both autoimmune, one's a hypo, one's a hyper problem with the thyroid, can greatly benefit from vitamin D. All right, what about the teeth? Well, if you're deficient in vitamin D, you're not gonna drive the calcium into the bone and your teeth are bone made from calcium. And so we need vitamin D to regulate that calcium. And so if you're deficient in vitamin D as a little child, or even when you're a baby inside your mother and you're deficient in this vitamin D, unfortunately you can develop all sorts of bone malformations later in life or even earlier in life as problems with um, the maxillary bone. So you have an overbite or an underbite, or you have, um, you're gonna need braces because your teeth are crooked, or you might have missing teeth, but it doesn't just affect your teeth, it affects the entire skeletal system. Uh, you're more susceptible to getting scoliosis, which is in, like an S curve of your spine, or a hunchback, which is kyphosis, or an exaggerated low back curve, which is lordosis, or even flat feet or bowed legs, which is rickets. So all of this can be majorly prevented if that mother gets enough vitamin D early on when she's pregnant, if she's breastfeeding. And so hopefully that child is getting enough vitamin D and other nutrients when they're developing. I think it's the most important uh, action for a woman who's pregnant to get the right nutrients because if you're just deficient in one vitamin, vitamin D, that child could end up with major skeletal malformations later in life. And it could be totally avoided by making sure that the diet is correct and making sure that those nutrients are high quality and not some synthetic prenatal that comes from petroleum. I remember even as a child growing up, I craved butter. I could eat an entire pound of butter in one sitting. Little did I know uh, what was in that butter. There was vitamin D in there, but there was also vitamin K2. And vitamin K2 works with vitamin D, especially in the formation of the strength of your teeth and your bones, 